Hey guys, in this video, I want to explain to you how my Chrome extension works. What this extension does is it adds custom buttons to your Gmail threads, which lets you add custom text and GIFs um, within your body of your emails. So this is done all within a single button. So it could be extremely efficient depending on how you decide to utilize this plugin. The purpose of this video is to provide a demonstration on how this extension works. Um, but if anyone has any technical questions or any questions at all about my plugin, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, so without further ado, let's begin this demonstration. So the first thing we have to do is we have to install the extension. If you look in the description underneath this video, you'll notice that there's a link to the extension, or you can also find it through navigating the search in the Chrome Web Store. So let's just go ahead and look for it here. So there it is. Once you click on Add to Chrome, you'll notice that it'll add a new icon on the top right-hand corner of your screen. If you don't like that, you can also just hide this icon in Chrome by clicking this button here. Um, so if we go ahead and refresh Gmail right now and click on an email, you'll notice that there's no buttons here. And that's because we have to add those options ourselves. So let's just go ahead and um, find out how to do that. So there's two ways to access options. One of them is to type in Chrome colon backslash backslash extensions in your address bar and then clicking on details. You'll notice that this plugin is only uh, active when you're on mail.google.com. Um, and to access a UI for options, you can click on this button right here. The second way to access the options, which is a lot easier, is to just click on this button here and then click on options. And that should open it up for you. So let's begin by clicking on tag button and seeing what kind of options there are. Um, so text is what you want to add to your body of your email. And label is the name of your button. And then there's also a bunch of properties for the styling of how your button looks on Gmail. Um, if you click on the GIF button, you'll notice there's different options. Um, search just searches Giphy through their API um, for, for GIFs of specific uh, categories. Um, to remove the buttons, you can either click on the X here or just click on clear. But keep in mind that nothing gets uh, saved until you click the save button right here. So let's begin by, oh, I also forgot to explain to you this auto feature here. So what this auto feature does it is that if you select the yes and click save, Whenever you click on a button within Gmail, it automatically sends the email um, as opposed to just opening the reply window and entering the text. So we can just test, we can test it out with uh, auto, auto off and auto on. And let's also test out a GIF button here as well. So in the text here, maybe you want to send uh, an email to a lot of different people. So Let's just write some text here. Let's see. Um, meet me in the alleyway at 11 p.m. I got the goods. Let's call this meet me. Um, I'm not going to style this. It just takes too long just to type it out. We're going to style the GIF button later just to test it out. And maybe you want to add a specific tag to certain emails. So we'll have auto set to no, and we can just write this in here. And let's call this notes. 
and the auto's off, which is good. And then let's search for gifts. Um, I guess we can search for birthday gifts. And let's call the button birthday gifts. And then we can also go ahead and change some of the properties of the buttons. So the text color is going to be white. Background color is orange. Hover color, let's make that green. Hover font color can be black. Let's change the border radius to 14 pixels. I'm going to hit on save. So if you ever load this page again, you'll notice that all options are saved. So you can just go ahead and add more buttons or delete some buttons. Um, but anyways, we save the buttons here. So now we can go back to Gmail, refresh it. And then let's make a new thread just to test it because I don't want to send this uh, to anyone else other than myself. So it's ggg at gmail.com. Let's call this test. So if you click on any threads, you'll notice that the buttons appear here. Um, so let's first test uh, this note button here. So this note button just adds that in for you right here. And then you can go ahead and type something as maybe a reminder or something like that. We can say feed the cats, hit send. If you click on this one, you'll notice that it just automatically sends the email because we set auto to yes. And then the gifts button here just adds a custom GIF from Giphy. If you don't like that GIF, you can just click on a trash button here and just keep cycling through them over and over again until you find the one you want. And then let's click on send. And there you go. So again, if anyone has any questions about anything, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.